All right, guys. Hello, my name is um, Coach Carlos Rivera. I am the offensive coordinator at Olmsted Falls High School. Um, we're located uh, about 20 minutes outside of Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, we play one of the uh, better conferences in Division II, um, Avon, Avon Lake, Midview, um, schools like that. Uh, we have been running Flexbone Triple Option for the last uh, five years. Um, our head coach, Coach DeLuca, has done a great job. Uh, putting a good staff together. Um, Coach Pace is our defensive coordinator. I'm the offensive coordinator. Um, we've been fortunate enough to make the playoffs every year we've run Flexbone. Um, they had made the playoffs uh, the two years he was a head coach before that. But um, we've been fortunate, uh, like I said before, to make it five five years in a row now. Um, we lost in the first round the playoffs our first year and then um, lost in the third round players the next two years or third round of the playoffs for the next two years, um, and then um, first and second round after that. But um, like I said, we play uh, in a pretty good conference. Uh, I feel a pretty good conference in, um, out here in Ohio. So um, I'm not a big stat guy. I keep stats, but I don't keep a ton of them because um, at the end of the day, it's about winning games. Um, but over the last five years, we've averaged, I think, is 315 yards. Um, we scored 216 touchdowns, rushing, 55 passing. Uh, we're right around 40 points a game. Um, and then I told you about the record already. Uh, so here's my contact information. Um, feel free to contact me either. Um, Twitter's probably the most um, common way people contact me. I do post some video there at times. So feel free to uh, follow, ask questions, whatever you guys need, I'm here to help. Um, a little background on myself. I, uh, I learned Flexbone out in um, Colorado College. From, um, we ran Flexbone out there. I, I uh, coached out there with, with Coach uh, Tim Taylor, Coach Greg Spahn, who, who did a video, um, I think, a few weeks ago. But I was fortunate enough to learn it uh, from him. And uh, it just kind of made sense to me. And uh, if I ever had an OC job, I said I was going to run it. And that's kind of where I'm at now. So um, today I'm going to talk about tags on triple option. Um, we call it 12 and 13. They are base plays is how kind of how our whole offense is run. And it's what we, we base everything around. Um, so I just had two tags that have worked pretty well for us. Um, one versus 50 defense and one versus 40 defense. So, um, but we'll just start going over those. So again, there's my contact information. Feel free to contact me. Um, the next, uh, next slide we're going to talk about, um, our first thing we're going to talk about, uh, we call it 12 Ranger. Um, uh, we only run it typically on a run it versus 50 and we, um, only run it out of flex. So this is our flex formation. We want to go flex right, flex left, we can. Flex right would just be receiver here, and he's back out normal. So um, so typically why we run this is if a team's in four eyes or fours and they're coming down hard, they're squeezing and scraping real fast, or they have a pretty good linebacker here, or they're just kind of mixing it up um, with these guys, we like to run this play. Um, so here's a formation. Next is what it looks like, the blocking. So. Realistically, what we're doing is the tackle and the wide receiver are, are switching responsibilities. So um, our rules for 12-13, if you guys want to know what those are, send me a message. Um, I can tell you kind of how we do it. I know everyone does a little bit different. Um, but our rules um, are veer, uh, base, scoop, 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 um, from play side over to uh, back side. So on this, the really key block here is this receiver pinning that backer inside if we can get this receiver to pin him outside we think we have a pretty good shot of having a, a big play um so typically against a defense like this the four eyes coming down stopping the dive and then the outside backer sitting in line he's going to take the quarterback so we know that um we have our tandem block with our two guys on the backer that's another thing i love about this if for some reason it is a give we still have our um, have our uh, guard on the backer here. So uh, receiver is blocking here. Tackle is going to open up, release, and get to the safety. And then um, our A-back is going to go to the corner. Another thing this does is 
uh, if teams are reading your tackles, which um, a couple of teams are doing to us now, they read for toss because um, you run a lot of toss and they have success at it. Everyone's widening with the tackle. So when that happens, you have a good opportunity of a give if you're playing um, a, a team that may switch or go out or they're running some sort of game. Um, but it really messes up a team's read. We do a lot of stuff with our tackles, A-backs, and wide receivers, just kind of, kind of switching responsibilities. So here, um, the wide receiver goes first. Our tackle gets around him, gets to the safety, and then our A-back is going to go to the corner. Um, our B-back is still, we're still reading it. Here's number one. Here's number two. Uh, we're still reading it. B-back is um, aiming for the crack of the guard on this, um, and then we're off to the races. All right. So then here is uh, a video of it. Um, so again, we call it, we call, we tag our 12, 13s. Um, we call our triple options, 12 and 13, 12 to the right, 13 to the left. And then we tag it with whatever we want. Uh, this is, um, Avon high school. Really, they do a really, really good job against us. Um, probably, um, it's, they finished first in our conference every year, one of the better teams around here. Um, so they do a, a really good job. Um, uh, but you can see here. Uh, we run 12 Rangers, so we're running to the right here. We want this wide receiver to pin this backer inside. Tackle releases, A back releases, um, and then our quarterback does his no more reads. So here we go. Here's the play. Quarterback does a good job getting the pitch. We get a lineman downfield, and we're off to the races. So again, show in this angle. Tackle does a good job releasing, getting to the safety. A back kicks out the corner, gets a good enough piece there. And a nice gain. Here's the end zone copy. Uh, so th this game, they tilted out trying to jam tackles. So we talked about that earlier. If a team's trying to jam your tackle, this is a great way to kind of release them, to get them going outside. Um, so to possibly mess this up, it could be a give. It widens this number two as well. But you can see um, here, it gives that quarterback even more time um, to get out there and get a pitch. Good job of that lineman getting on his L course, getting downfield. Show it one more time. This is the key here, this tackle. They're reading the tackle. They want to go outside. That's fine. Gives the A back more time to get in the block, get a good, good pull pitch. All right. So that is um, 12, 13 Ranger. That's what we call it. Um, the next one, next tag we have is 12-13 uh, boom and 12-13 boom switch. Again, these are all tags off of triple that we use. We have a couple more that we use, but these are kind of the ones that we want to install and get in right away um, so we can, um, um, so we're ready to go for a game because we usually don't know what we're going to see. So um, against boom and 12-13 boom, usually run against a 40 defense. Um, this is our spread formation. Uh, we have a 4-3 on this one, and for some reason we have a 4-4 on four four the next one. I'm not sure um, why it ended up like that. I thought I had a 4-4, four four, but um, that's just more to show you the kind of our spread formation. So here is um, spread 13 boom for us. What boom does, and now it tells our tackle again to release outside, and he's going to block the safety. Um, our wide receiver is going to block corner, and now our A back is going to block, uh, it's going to take the veer block, take place of the veer block. So again, if teams are reading your tackle for toss, if the end is getting outside when you go outside and maybe he's making the play, this is a great way to counter that. Um, because when he starts going outside, we're just doing our normal read. Here's one, here's two, the quarterback's reading it and you get a good give. Um, so it doesn't change blocking anywhere else. We have our base. Um, and our scoop, scoop, scoop backside. So uh, again, doesn't change blocking for anybody or courses for anybody. It just changes for the wide receiver, um, the A-back, and the tackle. So 
Um, quarterbacks doing his normal read, one, two. Um, and then backs every receiver, we try and cut off and block the first person we can back there. So that's 13, boom. And then this would be, <clears throat> excuse me, boom switch, where we would go 12, boom switch, where now the tackle goes to the corner and our wide receiver goes to the safety. So uh, boom still tells us A back, he's going to replace that tackle for the veer block. And now we want to get outside to there. Again, it really helps with the teams are reading your tackle. Um, this, this gives them a different look. Um, we've had a lot of success on this. When we get more of a pitch with Ranger, we get more of a give um, with when we run boom or boom switch. Um, so releasing outside, we have our base and scoop, scoop, scoop. Um, so right, here's a video of this is 13 boom. Uh, now this team's in a, in a 50, so it, it can still work against um, we can run this against uh, a 40 or a 50. We really like Ranger only against a 50, but this is, um, you can kind of do both depending on what they're doing. Uh, this team likes to slant a lot, either to the boundary or to the field or to the motion. Um, and then I don't think they're reading the tackles as much, but we were catching them in slants. And then just uh, in some cases, they weren't disciplined. So this is 13 boom. Good strong run by our B-back here. Again, now one thing you'll notice here is our tackle does a terrible job of releasing outside. He ends up getting caught in here with these two. He really needs to get outside, but it ends up working because he kind of uh, um, he kind of holds these two here. Uh, now the A-back does a good job uh, replacing. He sees that he's blocked and he tries to get upfield a good hard run by the B-back. And we'll go an end zone copy. So um, 13, boom, what it looks like is this tackle should really be getting outside looking for the safety. Our guard stepping here. Now, yes, we'll have two here. Now, if he scrapes over, our A-back will take him. If he comes up straight, our guard will take him. So one of, the, one of these two will take him. The next person's gonna look for the backside safety or anyone that shows inside there. It could be this safety. So this is 13 boom, this is the end zone copy. So we can see what it does here. This tackle releases outside. I think they're in a slant here or they're reading the tackle, um, but the nose slants here and our B-back does a good job reading his cut key, cuts back and we're off to the races. Again, show you one more time. Slant to the boundary here. He back makes his cut, it's a give. There we go. Um, the next one, uh, same thing, 13 boom. Now this, you, this is a good one where they're trying to read our tackles and you can see what happens here with this guy. He steps out and their A back does a really, really good job replacing the tackle, seeing that this guard gets to him, and now he gets up to the safety and actually beats our tackle um, to the safety because our, our tackle is um, dancing a little bit too much there. He's trying to figure out whether he wants to go in between them or outside of them. I tell our kids the easiest release. Um, rarely are they going to go in between them, but sometimes our guys like to think they can do that. Um, so based on our rules though, for 12, 13, it wouldn't change the block for this guy. So he would step out there anyways. Um, again, if you want to know those rules, kind of how we do it, let me know, shoot me an email, a message, whatever, and I can let you know. Um, but ABAC does a great job getting there. We get the look we want and we're off to the races. Backside guard. We gets there. We don't really get the best scoop. He must have called man on this. So he's got him by himself. It's a good 16 yard gain. One more time. 13 boom. And you can see this safety's head. Pause it right here. See this safety is looking at the tackle or a back there. But when he tackle steps out, he steps out and he goes with him. Um, so those little things with your tackles make a big difference. Um, so there's 13 boom. Unfortunately, I don't have any film 
of a boom switch. Um, so uh, this is all we'll have on boom. Here's the sideline view. 13 boom, one more time. Good job. Anytime you get linemen running downfield like that, we feel like we got a chance to win the game. There you go. So that's um, Ranger and Boom for us. Um, I will throw my contact information back up there for anyone that needs it. Um, here you go. Again, if you guys have any questions, anything else, or anything you see on my Twitter page, feel free to feel free to contact me. Um, I have no problem answering questions. So uh, thank you, Coach Banter, for the time. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, good luck to everyone this year. Thank you.